Hey, what's up, y'all? And of course, welcome to another Alternative Factuals video. Uh, like I said, once again, I want to take the time to appreciate everybody. Um, like I said, I have a lot of things coming for the channel. I'm not going to go over that. There was a whole video about that, just a little three-minute video. But um, today's video, I'm going to be discussing something that I observed actually regarding the Secret Wars and Molecule Man. And um, just so I can hurry up and kind of get things out of the way so that way I don't have to really worry about it later. Um, please be sure to like, share, and of course, subscribe. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you're thinking. Let me know what you're feeling. And of course, without further and or possible do let's get into this very interesting subject matter of a video so blue marvel as you already know is one of those characters that was created in 2009 by kevin graveau who is extremely extremely powerful his power set is completely off the chain uh, one thing that a lot of people don't know is that there are other versions of him that exist out there in the marvel universe and marvel multiverse that have not been you know quite explored but something i also want people to realize is there's a very interesting connection between him as well as owen reese the model Molecule Man. Now, if you've been kind of keeping up with Rob's videos about Secret Wars, um, that's kind of how this idea came about. I saw that he was kind of remastering his Secret Wars videos. Um, Molecule Man drew, drew his power from what they call the Beyondverse. Um, this is a universe, well, not even a universe, just an area out in the multiverse in which the Beyonders existed. They created the Molecule Man as an experiment, so each of them, uh, each version of Molecule Man in a different universe, all got their powers in the exact same way, meaning they were all tapping into the Beyondverse. Now, going through the story of Secret Wars, you find out that when Doctor Doom and Molecule Man were going around killing different versions of uh, Owen Reese, you find out that uh, not only were they, you know, being killed and the powers were kind of coalescing into a singular being, but Molecule Man was kind of losing his mind about uh, the amount of power that he was receiving as it coalesced into a single person. Now, obviously, they didn't kill off every single version of him because there was just an infinite number of him. However, uh, the purpose of this video is that there's a very interesting connection between him and uh, Blue Marvel simply because there are multiple versions of Blue Marvel in the multiverse. Uh, a lot of them we may not have ran into yet just like with Molecule Man but there are other versions of Blue Marvel that kind of have the same kind of history which makes it interesting so I'm kind of gonna draw the correlation right now so as you already know we have the main 616 Adam Brashear Blue Marvel that's the one that we know that's the one that came into existence that's the one that we you know are all comfortable and know and love however I bet you didn't even realize that there was another Adam Brashear of Earth 10021 of Marvel Comics there's also another version of Adam Brashear from I think Deadpool's Art of War Volume 1 that's on a different Earth. Uh, there's also another <laughs> Blue Marvel Adam Brashear from the Ultimate End timeline. Um, so as we kind of get to know or kind of get familiar with a lot of these uh, I guess versions of Adam Brashear we're starting to find out there are just so many different types of him out there in the multiverse and something that people don't realize is that um, and right now I think we only know about I think seven or six versions of him. Uh, Earth 121, Earth 14412, Earth 61610, Earth TRN 78 three uh there's an, another unknown reality we don't know about him and there's another unknown reality that uh, we don't know about him that have been mentioned only once in storytelling so we have about six versions of him that exist that we officially know that's been on record in one shape or another and what's so cool about it is Owen Reese got his powers the exact same way in every single universe he existed in and he existed in every single um, universe but here's the funny part Blue Marvel in these six versions of himself he got the same powers in every universe the exact same way now what makes this well, the reason I say that Blue Marvel is the new Molecule Man is because Molecule Man can manipulate matter and he can do it at an excruciatingly, overwhelmingly powerful you know, level in, in, in Marvel Comics. Blue Marvel, we have not seen the upper limits of his powers, but some weird way he is drawing power from the negative zone. He's drawing power from this antimatter universe and he's somehow able to exist in every universe, get the powers the same exact way in every universe, just like Molecule Man, and have a very interestingly similar power set which makes this kind of very intriguing now for those of you who don't know just like molecule man there's only one version of the antimatter universe throughout the entirety of the marvel multiverse it's not multiple ones we saw in the i forgot which storyline that was that was when uh, i think annihilus was trying to come into the main marvel universe and actually take over uh, people from the ultimate universe the avengers from the ultimate universe and the incredible hulk and stuff like that actually try to leave the ultimate universe to come to the main marvel universe through the antimatter the negative zone so this only one negative zone every universe has you know access to the same negative zone there's not a different one they all share the same one just like all of the owner reese's universes wherever he exists they all share the same beyond verse so you're kind of seeing the hand in hand the two and two here they're almost exact opposites of each other in a sense where molecule man can you know manipulate um matter on a, like i said a grand scale just regular matter while adam Brashear could potentially be the version of him or the opposite of him where he can manipulate antimatter 
in such an extreme degree um in terms of just his abilities and what he's capable of since there's only one in there's one of him in each universe at least to what seems so far but also just simply the fact that they're kind of accessing the opposite ends of the spectrum the same exact way as if there there has to be a version of them that exists in every single universe so i thought this was really dope observation in reality because knowing what we know about secret wars for example knowing what we know about the concept and the abilities of owen reese what makes this very interesting is the simple fact that blue marvel displays a lot of the same similarities in terms of the development of his powers what he's capable of with his abilities the only i guess difference being that blue marvel actually physically manifests his powers um in terms of strength and durability um and also being able to recover a lot more quickly and fatigue while Moleky man physically is like below average but his molecular and molecule manipulation is above you know literally almost everybody in the marvel universe and i said literally almost so those of you who are going to be like oh franklin richards or whatever i'm just saying almost he's definitely one of the top tier three percent uh, reality warpers we have out there so well re reality manipulators but um i'm just making this observation because their powers in terms of how they develop how they're introduced into the marvel uh, cinematic i said marvel cinematic universe but the marvel universe is very very interesting and very similar um they kind of draw power from a unique source of energy um that cannot be duplicated that cannot be created that has seemed to uh seemingly existed since you know the creation of the multiverse and there's only one version of that exotic energy that no one seems to be able to really quite tap into the way that they can uh, there's only a limited i guess number of people who can you know do what blue marvel does um so you know minus his son who can you know kind of neutronium who can kind of do both positive and negative uh blue marvel uh his his best friend i forgot who actually got uh, who's in the same accident as blue marvel who actually i think was a little bit more unstable and also with molecule man you have you know the actual cosmic cubes that took uh, physical forms i think there's about three of them out there so there are a very limited amount of people or beings who can actually do what they do and who draw power from the same exotic power source that they do which makes this you know like a very uh controversial topic mostly because i wouldn't be surprised if they did use this opportunity to say that um adam brashear was actually a conduit in every universe to kind of bring something out from the antimatter universe from the negative zone trying to manifest something that is trying to get into the main marvel universe or maybe trying to destroy the multiverse but just in a different way compared to like in secret wars because like i said a little earlier in the video this is exactly what the beyonders were trying to do with the molecule man for example um they use each molecule man in each universe to try and explode the multiverse each one would detonate a different earth so that way at that point they can see what would happen if you know each molecule man destroyed the universe and kind of see how things would unravel from there how would the you know organisms in each universe respond to the incursions and stuff like that so th this is what made it very very dope so i imagine blue marvel being under the same circumstances where his power is drawn from an energy source that every universe has access to there's only one version of this antimatter universe there's only one version of this negative zone um in every earth that blue marvel exists since there seems to be multiple versions of him they all develop the powers the same way what if someone was trying to use blue marvel the same way that they use molecule man owen reese the same way the beyonders use owen um owen reese there could be someone in there maybe it's a nihilist for example using uh blue marvel as like a way to uh kind of enter the main marvel universe for example because we already know that a nihilist is the one who dwells in the negative zone the you know the antimatter universe so i kind of wanted to get you guys thinking um i wanted to take a concept or i guess a character that everyone kind of loves who's a black character very powerful very prominent very intelligent and uh take this character right and then kind of analyze how he got his powers and kind of tie the similarities to molecule man in terms of how each version of him in a different universe got his powers the same exact way there was no difference in how they got their powers so it begs the question what is the end game for blue marvel there definitely can be a bigger purpose maybe it's you know that that just happens to be a coincidence to be honest with you it's entirely possible but potentially this can be something that kind of happened in another in a future story timeline or in another story where it's just like blue marvel gained his powers in every single universe the same way and we could have an event very much similar to secret wars where um owen reese um basically was an experiment maybe blue marvel is the experiment maybe blue marvel is not really meant to exist in each earth or maybe blue marvel um is supposed to destroy everything you know we don't know the totality of his powers and i think there's a reason for that and no matter what comic you say no matter what you say about blue marvel as powerful as he is you know we've seen what his physical feats are what his hand-to-hand -hand combat skills are we've never seen his you know antimatter manipulation maxed out we've never seen him exceed a certain limit of power and i think it's for a reason i think if he exceeds a certain level of power you know things can happen to a universe at any given time or maybe you know something might happen to the multiverse if enough of him or enough versions of him are tapping into the negative zone all at once we don't know but all we know 
is that Blue Marvel has the potential to be just as powerful or maybe even have, you know, be an equal to Molecule Man just due to the nature of where they're drawing their powers and how they develop their powers and as well as the different versions of them that exist in the multiverse due to the nature of the fact that they all exist in every universe the same way, the same time, with the same powers. So that's something I want you to think about, but let me know what you think about this in the comment if, comments. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to like, share, and of course subscribe. Leave your comment down below and I hope to see you later on. Peace out.